Hello, this is Sara here from Next Generation Pilates with my son. Um, my son's been realising that he's been feeling a bit sticky in his ribs and in his shoulders recently. So we are going to do a few exercises to help open up the chest and the shoulders and also build on his core strength and also his back strength as well. So here are just a few exercises for you to try at home. If you don't have a stability ball, then you can always use a few pillows. You'll probably need about two or three, but these can be bought pretty cheaply these days. So I would suggest if you can get one, do, because it'll really help. Okay, so the first exercise we're going to do is called dead bug. So we are going to have our forearms against the softball and the knees against the ball as well. We're going to gently press, nothing crazy. And we're going to breathe as normal, relax the shoulders. Try not to have a big arch in the back, good and feel your core working. Can you feel that working? Yeah. Good, just breathe here. Gently press against the ball and release. Good, and we'll do that one more time. Bring the legs up if you can. Good, gentle pressure against the ball. Breathe normally. Relax your shoulders, good, and relax. Good, so that's the first one. The second one is called dead bug with a twist. So you're going to go back into that position you were in Knees up ideally, good. So from here, we're just going to slowly start to twist a little to one side, not too far, good. Draw the abdominals in to come back to centre, good. And the other side again, not too far. Oh, Doesn't hard. matter, back <laughs> to centre, good. Back to me one more time, good. Back to centre and then the other side. Good, not too far oh, and side. back, good. It's harder on one side, that's normal, so don't worry about that, good. Let me have the ball now, then I'm going to place that, stay where you are, okay, place that underneath the calf muscles, rest yourself back down, and the arms can come out to the side, nice and relaxed. I'm going to breathe in here. As we breathe out, you can just take the legs one way, whichever way you want, just breathe. Good. Use the abdominals to come back to centre. Roll again, not too far, back to centre. Small roll to that one, twist back to centre, good, over to this side, draw the tummy in, come back to centre, good, okay, what we're going to do now is called the Russian twist, so up you come, good, we're going to come to prop yourself up against the ball, good, make sure you're grounded in your feet, lovely, arms straight up to the ceiling, and if you can, keep them straight while you take them again to one side, good, back to centre, and the other side, back to centre, good. One more time over to here, good. Keeping the arms straight, back to centre and back, good. Then you can extend over the ball that way, back you go. Good, you can take the arms with you if you like. Does that feel a nice stretch? Yeah. Good. Breathe here for a few minutes. Lovely, twice more. Good, one more. Nice, and then roll yourself off the ball nice and slowly. Good. And we're going to finish with Superman. So opposite arms and legs. This one's quite tricky at the best of times, let alone on a ball. So I might hold on to the ball for a minute. Okay, so now if we can, opposite arm and leg, lift up in a straight line. Good. Back down. And the opposite leg and arm. Good, and down. So don't worry about how high you get it. Just think about length. So you're reaching away with the arms and the legs. Good, one more time each side. Reach away and reach away. And that really works the back muscles, doesn't it? Yep. Good. And down we come. Come and sit back down. And we're done. Thank yep. you.